Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening once again, and welcome to our Monday devotion. Uh, we're here to bring you uh, the devotion for today entitled, once again, Jesus, I Need You. And we hope, and I hope that uh, this uh, devotion will draw you closer to God. So let us come to the Father in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just come before you once again this day. We ask, Lord God, that through your Holy Spirit, that you will lead us, that you will draw us closer to you, Lord God, through this word and through this devotion, Lord God. So we submit our lives to you during this time so that we can hear and understand fully, Lord God, your message. We give you thanks. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So let's begin reading the devotion entitled again, Jesus, I Need You. The light came to shine in the darkness. The way came to lead the lost. The truth came to confront the lie. The life came to die to overcome death. But our eyes see so dimly that it is difficult to see the light for who he is. The light has dawned, but we sleep in. Will we wake up and put forth the effort to get out of bed spiritually? Now this light, the way, the truth, the life, this is all referring to, of course, no other than Jesus Christ. Let's continue reading. Do we take Jesus for granted? Our actions reflect this as we walk right past him. We fill our days with so many seemingly important things that we just don't have time for him. We can have personal time with Jesus whenever we want, yet we don't. Let's read that again. This is so important and this is so um, convicting to our hearts. Do we take Jesus for granted is a question. You know, most of the time, right away, we want to say, no, we don't. But when you continue reading this, we will find out that we do. It says, our actions reflect this as we walk right past him. Every day, every single day, we walk right past him, ignoring him. By filling our days with so many seemingly important things that we don't have time for him. Or we don't make time for him. We can have personal time with Jesus whenever we want, yet we don't. Now this struck me, although I already know this, but the way it was put in this devotion struck me. When the writer said, we can have personal time with Jesus whenever we want, yet we don't. You know, God is available for us 24-7, every second of the day. He makes himself available for us, for us, but yet we say we don't have time for him. What a sad thing. Instead, we walk right past him. We ignore him. But then we give time and make time for other things that we consider important or more important than him. Not only that, we also make time for the most unimportant things useless things in life and we pass by Jesus Christ and we ignore him you know some of the unimportant things or the useless things in life that we can really do away with are things such as the social media you know we can do away with that you know for years for those that uh, you know are older for years we never had this and we, we did without it but now that social media has become part of life, it's stealing a lot of our time away from more important things, such as our time with God. And not only social media, but many other things. Again, God is available for us 24-7. But yet, instead of making time for Him, we walk right past Him and we ignore Him. Let's continue with the devotion. It says here, Noah walked with God. Abraham was a friend of God. Moses met God, met with God face to face. God's desire is for us to walk with him, for him to be our best friend, and for us to meet him face to face. 
The Lord says, if you seek him, you will find him. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. Are you willing to admit for as much as you can see that you are blind and need him to open your eyes? Our human eyes see so dimly, but when we ask, he will answer. He will open our eyes and give us light to see. As we respond to that light, he will give us more light. The light of life will dawn anew in our hearts, and we will be filled to overflowing with the light himself. So we need to ask him to open our eyes. Because yes, we are blind in so many ways. We need him to ask him to open our, the eyes of our understanding. Ask God to open your eyes because you have been blinded by some things, things that stole your heart and time away from God. And so we need to ask God to open our eyes or to draw our eyes away from those things that have stolen our hearts away from Him. So ask God to open your eyes. It says here, Jesus is our light to dispel the darkness of sin. Sin also draws us away from God. And so we need to ask God to who Jesus, who's the, the light of our lives, to dispel the darkness of sin. Praise Him and affirm His character. Then in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 7 to 9, it says that we are He was despised, forsaken, pierced, crushed. He took all the sorrow, grief, and punishment that our sin deserved. What do you want to admit to Him about your sin? I think a sin that we really need to admit to him. I think this is not some of, for some of us, but for all of us. Because somehow we have all neglected God. We've all passed by him without giving him the time that he deserves. So definitely we have all sinned the sin of neglect in neglecting him in our lives. So I'm going to ask you today, you know, to come to God and look at areas in your life that has drawn you away from God, that has stolen your time away from God, that has caused you to neglect time with God and ask God to forgive you of those sins and to draw him closer to you. It goes on to say in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10 to verse 12, to thank him that we have been purchased by his death for the kingdom of darkness and now, from the kingdom of darkness and now, because of his sacrifice, are citizens of the light. So thank him that he made a way that we can enter into his presence at all times. Again, read this, uh, go through this devotion, listen to it carefully, read the scriptures, and take it to heart and bring it with you, you know, for the rest of the week and ask God to speak to you. And I challenge and encourage you, you know, each day, if you can, in the morning, as soon as you wake up, to make time with God. Spend time with Him in prayer, in listening to His voice. Allow Him to speak to you. Allow Him to fill you up. The scriptures for today are Matthew 4, verse 16. It says, The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who lived in the land where death cast its shadow, a light has shined. And then Ephesians 5, 13 to 14. But their evil attention, intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. For the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Awake, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. And finally, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13 says, If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. So God exposes darkness in our life so that we can draw closer to Him. And then when we go to Him wholeheartedly, God says we will surely find Him. Will you join me in prayer you know, as we ask God to forgive us of the sin of neglect, of neglecting Him and spending time with Him? Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Father, once again, we come before you this day. And we ask, Lord God, that you will continue to reveal to us those things, Lord God, that have stolen our time and our eyes away from you. Things, Lord God, that we may not even consider sin, Lord God.
with those things, Lord God, that causes us to neglect you, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you would reveal those things to us and give us, Lord God, the ability, Lord God, to put those things aside, Lord God, and make you a priority in our lives, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for making time for us 24-7, for making yourself available to us all the time, Lord God. And we are sorry, Lord God, that we have neglected you and have passed right by you, Lord God, ignoring you, Lord God. And so we ask for your help through your Holy Spirit and that by your grace, Lord God, that we will begin to spend more time with you, Lord God, giving you utmost important in, importance in our lives, Father God. Father, we love you and we thank you. And right now, Lord God, I just pray, Lord God, that you would just bless each listener, Lord God, that as they listen to your word, Lord God, that they will grow in you. We speak blessings upon each one, Lord God. We pray this, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And God bless the Philippines. God bless Alongapo. And God bless CRC. Okay, God bless you all. Have a great week.